Welcome to a new episode of the Fireside Chat Series. You may notice that this session looks a little bit different from the previous ones. With our safety measures in place, we want to avoid the spread of COVID-19, and this chat will be done virtually on Teams. In today's segment, we chat with Angela Alexander, Chief Human Resource Officer. Angela, welcome to the Fireside Chat Series. Thanks, Andrew. Excited to be here. Angela, two years. What are you most proud of, of your time so far at ATS? Wow, what am I, what am I most proud of? I think, I think actually I'm, I'm really proud of how ATS has come together during the pandemic. I think, you know, there's a lot of things I could focus on around the journey I've been on over the last few years, but the, the pandemic has been um, a really inspiring moment to see the organization come together and continue to find a way through and to thrive and to look after each other. Andrew, what is one thing that people don't know about you? I think the thing that people don't realize about me and don't know about me is that actually I, I suffer a lot from, from stage fright in advance of events. I love public speaking and presenting, but I suffer from unbelievable anxiety before I get up on stage. What is one characteristic that you believe every leader should possess? You know, I think the I think the marker of a good leader actually is the ability to have difficult conversations. Learning how to get comfortable with that and how to get and how to be good at it is uh, is a really important trait as a leader. Angela, we recently launched our new purpose statement and core values. What do those core values mean to you? How do you articulate uh, our path forward and, and what they should mean to all of our employees? Well, I, I still think the best thing about the work that we did on, on purpose and core values is that from a values perspective, people remains first. And um, that is something that resonates internally. It resonates externally. And, and I think it, it always reminds us to, to look at the things that we're doing and to look at the actions we're taking through a lens that follows people process performance. Does this, does this stay true to the sequence and does it stay true to the intent of what those words mean when we, when we further articulated them as, as values? How would your friends describe you? For the most part, I think they would describe me as fun. So I, I place a high value on on fun and laughter and uh, and and are always looking for ways to celebrate. What are some of the biggest challenges leaders face today? The biggest challenges leaders face today is the need for speed and agility. Like things things are moving so fast around us. I think the hardest thing about about this environment and the pandemic makes it you know even worse is just when you think you you understand how it all works it all changes. Well, what advice would you give somebody going into a leadership position for the first time? I, I think, you, you know, be, be bold and don't, don't be afraid to make mistakes um, and, and continuously learn. I mean, obviously not only learn from your mistakes, but learn from your team, but, but not be overly cautious. So Andrew, thanks for the opportunity to ask you a question. Um, what do you value most about the partnership with HR? When we look at the partnership and, and we think about what's most important, it really is around people. And, and that's why when we when we laid out our core values, it's people, then process, then performance. And when I look at the impact that HR has, it's about how do we continue to challenge ourselves to not only build our leaders, but make our business successful today and into the future. And it really all goes to people. And I view that partnership with HR as being the most successful opportunity for us to move forward on that journey. Well, Andrew, I'd like you to answer a question. But before we go there, I just want to make sure that while you're on the hot seat. Like, what's your favorite color? Blue. Of course, of course it's blue. I love it. <laughs> Angela, what is your superpower? Humor. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> no reason why. It's just humor. We'll just cut that one out. <laughs> Not a big deal. Not a big deal. That's a great answer. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks for the opportunity. You as well. Take care.